there's just to let you know she's got a line she's not supposed to cross. <laughs> yeah. 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 He won't come play one day. He's just having these down table. Yeah, yeah. Not, not, a, not a corner here. Yeah, we don't have to be like. Yeah. Zach feels like he's really uh, <laughs> he's happy. Or we're in bed. Or my cats. Are we ready? ready? Girls, boys. I only have one fun. George's house. Let's go. George's house. George's house. George's house. George's Mr. 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 He's got graduation photos tonight. I didn't send a letter to him. Tied deadline. He said, "Okay, I want to play." You're stuck with me tonight. I just said, "I'm not stuck with you." We're proud to have you. Well, I think they're stuck with me. You're saying. So pay attention. Then. Damn. I hope the lead on that's what I'm already on. It is nice. Just send it to me then. Just a second. Okay. Get around. Are you ready? This is black. Okay. So I'm going to get the first. Yeah. That blocks all the dreams. Well, yesterday at noon, I had two of them call me back to back, and I was like, Well, I need to know how to do that. And that's what you were talking about. Okay. You got to show me later on. I got. Yeah. Are we ready, George? I'll to order at 704. Roll call. George Nall. Erica Martin. Sean Harley. Randy Snead. Angela Tendez. Derek Jones. Lisa Moore. Stand for Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Minutes from 5 4 2022 regular session. Motion to approve the minutes from 5 4. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes from 5 4 2022 regular session. Any further comment on this? Not all in favor say aye. 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 And it's passed. Citizens input. No citizens, no input. And then pass it. Chuck, you want to do it now or you want to do yours later on? You can do it now. Just yeah, why don't you go ahead. Okay. I uh, just want to give you an update where we're at with uh, unsafe ordinances and, or, and buildings. Um, we've got four letters out. The last one, the fifth one, goes out tomorrow morning to um, our first five that we talked about at our last meeting. So, got the letters out. Three of them have received them. One will get there tomorrow, and the other one um, probably on Saturday. So, that's where we're at, working with Mr. Jones. Uh, and uh, I think that's it. We've got, had a lot of calls about things throughout the town as far as questions and building and that sort of thing. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. That's what we've handled and what we've done. Anything else, Lisa? I'd like to ask the board if it would be all right. I know Randy and I have both been by the Church Street, uh, Church Street property we've been working on over there. You know, It looks pretty good just from drive-by. Now, I'll, I'll admit, um, but I would like to just have a final so I have Chuck actually go down there visit, make sure everything's in compliance and sign off on it. I don't think there was anything out of compliance safety wise. It was more of a nuisance thing. Am I am I right, Derek, or on that? More uh more morals more, Yeah, more, I didn't think of his name. More place. No, more we're waiting to basically have Collar, Mr. Collar. He, he was there today and or yesterday. Oh, and, okay. So I went down there and looked. As um, far as I know, he got everything done, and uh, I didn't.
get there when he was finished. I was there while he was working. But uh, Sean brought up there was one something wrapped up in a tarp laying out by the street or something. It's not by the street. It's in front of it's between the boat and the street. Okay, okay. And it's, we'll, a blue, we'll it's a blue temporary it. tarp. You know how but long those last. He cleaned. He cleaned the two buildings up that were mentioned. I mean, and he cleaned the ground up. He they raked it and picked up everything and he smoothed it out with these back holes. So it really does look good. That part. But I'll check on that before we release that. Then. I just well, thought. No, no, no. We're not releasing anything. Oh, we're not releasing the anything. next step. Is basically we have to go back to court. Okay. And then get a judgment for the amounts that we paid. Okay. Okay. Polar construction to take care of that thing. Yeah. That's going to be quite a bit of money. Right. Um, and and I, I don't have any problem with Chuck taking a look at it. Okay. But um, okay. so long as the council is satisfied and like we're good to go in terms of we don't have any more issues, right. great. Then we can set a damages hearing mm -hmm. and then move that forward with the courts. Okay. I guess, I guess that's where I was coming from. This whole process was, you know, it looks, I can live with the way it looks right now. I just kind of wanted to somebody that's had their feet on the ground there to take a look at it again and make sure that you know something I can't see. Report that back, and then we can go forward with Derek's process. Yep. Um, is it okay after I inspect it? I send out an email. And say, yes, fine. Yes, yes. So we can speed up the process. Right. That's absolutely fine. Yes. Okay. That's just. Yeah. So how about we make a motion? So long as we, as the council, I shouldn't say we, but you, as the <laughs> council, uh, feel that the properties. In compliance at this point, then we can move forward and I can request a damages hearing. That's going to be 30, 45 days down the road, but I can, yeah, move that forward. Are we doing this under attorney or citizen? We're, we're doing this under <laughs> citizen's input, but that, it's fine. I, I will make a motion to uh, have Chuck DeWitt look at the Moore property now that we feel that it is fairly uh, complete as far as the cleanup goes and uh, report back to the council via email into the attorney and it's uh everything is all right therefore give the attorney permission to go ahead and finish his processes that he has to do with uh, collecting damages we'll second that okay we have a motion to second to everything that sean said <laughs> to uh have chuck dewitt check out the moore property make sure that it meets all the safety and everything requirements and then he'll send an email to the town council, to attorney uh, Derek Jones, and then Derek will set up a time with the court systems to uh, take care of the uh, legal action on all this. Uh, any further comments on any of this? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Randy, do you want to do the library letter? Yes. Uh, summer reading program, Argus Public Library seeking awards as a incentive prize for the 2022 summer reading adventures titled Oceans of Possibilities. And there'll be act activities and prizes for all the participants and preschool through all adult age levels. We appreciate any consideration in the form of prizes or financial contribution you can make toward helping make our program successful. And then they go on and on. Uh, and each supporter will receive an eight and a half by eleven poster to indicate your business supported the 2022 summer adventures. What did we give her last year? What you've got written down here, handwritten. So last year we gave her two hundred and fifty dollars toward this. That's what we've given every year for ever. So since I'll make a motion, we give the library two hundred fifty dollars for the reading. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second to give the Argus Public Library uh, $250 toward their summer reading program. Any further comments? Uh, yeah. I, again, we had this discussion before. It's a taxing entity asking another taxing entity for money, in my opinion. Uh, it's only $250. It's not going to break us, but it's a principle of it. Yeah, it's the same thing. See, I don't mind that we just get a little bit more. That's just me, though. That's the teacher. I mean, you know, it's a way for us to help our kids continue to read during the summer. Um, 
you know, it helps. Every little bit helps. What do they do with their tax money? Can I, can I it, okay, Sean, here's, here's my feeling. I can say this. a lot about that. <laughs> they, they have a limited amount of tax money to run their facility on. So do we? No, I no, we don't. Our tax money is, we get a little more than they do, plus we have ways of getting money they don't have. Well, that's beside the point. If you run twice as big an organization. I'd like to give 300, but that's my bit of it. You guys can do what you want. Only because things are starting to cost a little bit more. If it's been like that for years, then. I'm just saying, to me, it's the principle of it. But. No, I understand. I understand where you're coming from. Councilman Young. Oh, you know where I stand. I, I've been given for 14 13 years. years anyhow, right? This will be the 14th, yeah. yeah. We give. Okay. If we supported them. We worked with them back when they, when the Oprah grant was going on to get them out of the library. I mean, the fire department went over right in the trailer and the fire department moved them so we wouldn't have to pay a fine and lose all the grant money. So, I mean, it's not like we don't work with each other, one entity to another. I understand what Sean's saying also. I get that too. But it's just like the fire department. It's tax based and we have fundraisers all the time we give, so I'm still in favor of giving the two fifty. Not easy. State I think it's the state two fifty for now. Okay. Anybody else? Yeah. Erica, you have anything one way or the other? I'm good with the two fifty. I'm sure other businesses are helping them also, so We have a motion and a second. No more comments? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. Motion passed four to one. Anything else? I see the things. Lisa, is this on the agenda? Yes. <laughs> After. Way down on new business. Oh, I see the agenda. Okay. Uh, Report. Next attorney report, I guess. Yep. Chuck uh, stole my thunder on um, half of it, so that's good. <laughs> um, that really was good. Um, but yeah, we did. Chuck and I have been working on these letters, and uh, a batch of three went out last week. One went out today. I think another one went out tomorrow. So we're getting those at least, hopefully, taken care of um, for the letters. We the people respond. We'll see. Um, the other thing I want to let you know is the last meeting we had the approval of the bids for the utility building that got sent out to the pilot. They indicated the publication dates would be May 7th and May 14th, which obviously those dates have passed. Um, I don't have proof of publication back yet, uh, but we are on track to basically accept and receive bids no later than 3 p.m. on June 13th. We're going to have a bid opening. Uh, meeting at that point in time. The meeting on June 15th is when those will be presented to the council. So just let you know that that's on track. Hopefully we get a better batch of bids and we're better in shape to move that forward. That's all I had to report. Were we, this, uh, I, I have to ask this, that house on Maple Street, um, Way down. 210. 210. 210, where the guy has been putting siding and windows and stuff. Get the windows in. And, and he's brought the siding up. He's putting more siding. Okay, Mr. Caldwell. Yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, did did he get a ticket for his grass? I did have to. It's on. really bad. So is that something we do as a separate thing? He can do I that. Think, I think I did do something with that one. Would you check into that? I can't. I don't have the. That's fine. But yeah, but, he, but that, that's just kind of a report. He has he has started the site. He's got quite a bit of it on. They now. have the report, don't they? Mm -hmm. uh, don't are they you talking to me? I don't. Yeah. yeah, but that was for this month. That was last month, oh. and this would have been this month. Okay. 
Yeah, and I don't. That's on my thumb drive. That's okay. That with me. That's okay. I just was checking on that. I think last weekend Corey went to get like twenty some tickets for grass. Oh, it's more than Saturday. Thirty-four so, on Friday, was, and then yeah, I think it was. Like I know I don't do it on Sunday. Stuff. I hear because I brought some stuff down. But uh, okay. I'm working from memory, but you got to remember that this this case is relatively right. old. Yeah. But I think at the time there was some grass and weeds, and there, that was an issue, and I think it was taken care of. At one time, if this spring it's getting bad again, yes, it can still fall under our existing order, so long as we had included that. And I'm working from memory, so I'm yeah. thinking that it did, but I can't promise you that. Um, but I know the big thing was the house and the rest well, of the He home. is working on the house side. He's got quite a bit of siding on it now, so. It's just, it looks terrible around there, but other than that, yeah. While I'm on this, I've never seen some of the yards get mowed all of a sudden. I run around and everybody's got their yard mowed. I, I, I can't remember, I think I did yeah. for that one, but we had, I think, 15 or 6, I'd have to look. I'll get, yeah. if I get my report, I'll give it to you. That's fine. Attorney's done. I'm done. Motion to accept the attorney report. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept the attorney report. Any further comments? If not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Other old business. Uh, I'm going to bring this one up. Bell Harley, we're worried. Food Truck Friday is coming. Art, do you really think we could be in there in two weeks? <laughs> all right. No, Jamie, what are we doing? We're, we're set to go where we had it before. We can still... Yeah. So do we need... Uh, I guess we'll just have to continue down here the northern part of town. Yeah, everything's still there. All right. Because we have to get letters out to our vendors uh, right away. and So she wanted to make sure I said, well, I'll bring it up tonight. That's what we'll do then. The first uh, June... I don't have my calendar, but uh, the food truck Friday in June will be. I who's got a calendar handy? Yeah, June tenth. Tenth. Well, June third is the first June. Second. Second Friday. Of June. Yes, tenth. June tenth. Okay, June tenth. Food truck Friday will be downtown still. Somebody else have to do trash. I'll be out of state. <laughs> I normally do the trash. At the end of the night. Well, you can you can hire somebody. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's your I'll job. Try to find somebody. We're you, you know, I'll try to find somebody, somebody but I, I don't be there. Well, just leave your truck and trailer where we can get to it. Okay. <laughs> well, On that note, though, today was uh, the first time we had a citizen come in and want to complain about the downtown. First one, but they're going to start coming in. About what? Uh, the progress and why it's not getting done and, and why they're cleaning up and yeah. So, first one. I'm just saying, once yeah, one I, I, starts, I know, and, and, and it's not, you know, it's not the town's the fault. One. Well, that's the first <laughs> one that came in here and asked who to talk to, so. You give them the phone number of Indiana Herb? No, I would not. <laughs> you need to figure out how to get callbacks in these contracts. Well, their timelines. We get told timelines, and time after time after ten, project after project, they don't complete even close to time. Money. Yeah, they had some weather. They had some. It took them a long time at first, right? They didn't get to start when they wanted to start. And I don't have a comment in an open meeting. Yeah, <laughs> I understand. I know where you're going. <laughs> I know either. I don't have a comment. Okay. New bit. New old, business. Old business. This might be for Mark or Jamie. What are we at on the possible annexation on Dewey? We talked any more about that? The so we can put water and sewer. Lot for the building for the house in Kenilworth? No, no, for Dewey Street all the way out. There was Snyder's and right there. Uh, yeah, and we've all got that. a so we've got a request that came in. He's working on that. That's to me. Okay, and that's yeah. This is a. We just got that like within the last week or so. Like, yeah, but it's basically it's creating an island. Mm -hmm. uh, property that's not annexed and mm. that's what causes me a little concern. Okay. And it's 
one of those things my gut tells me I'm not sure this is appropriate. And I, when I look at the statutes, I don't see how... When I look at the statutes, I feel like, yes, it's possible, but my gut's telling me again, it's like, I don't think that's right. And it would be an absolute blessing if the remainder of the property owners would say, we would like to be annexed too. I'm not sure of the Have temperature. Have you even tried them? Of that. Do you want to send them a, should we send them a letter? What do you want? What do you think? We can, and I would feel see. much better about moving that forward. And then at least if we had a denial. I mean, I see what he's saying. I also see the other side, look at the other side of it. He has the most property that butts up to the city limits on the back side now. So he, he does meet the statute, statute qualifications for getting annexed. But as he said, that'll leave the three properties virtually in the middle. <laughs> No, not virtually. It's absolutely. It's like an island of. No, I uh, understand. But if we send out a letter explaining the pros and cons, obviously, more you know, pros to these people, explain to them, not just send them a letter and say we want to. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can explain that there's been a request, and would and you be why willing to join or? Yeah. Okay, I'll get the property owner. Informational letters would be sent out on why, yes. And some of them have water and not sewer, some of them have mm. some of those things, so we need to. I've got that list somewhere. Okay. Jamie and I went through that one day. We're just talking about the property owners along Dewey Street to the south Kenilworth, side. The south yeah, side there. Of them. You got yeah. Thayer's, Dunlap, and that other last that one's Rimmel. a rental. Yeah. And Pooch Schneider's in there somewhere. He's, He's the one that sent the request to be annexed. So he wants to be annexed, okay. And just so you know, he split his property off. He's selling an acre and a half, so there, that puts another owner in there also. The corner piece, Chuck? Yeah. That field? Um, the field, it's, it's long. Mm -hmm. um, They're the ones that are really requesting it, though, aren't they? Amberly? Yes. They are the ones that started this, yes. Right. But they did get so, I no doubt that well and, and Snyder came in. I mean he talked to me, he's for it now. He told me he didn't know why it never happened. I'm like, hey, hey, but we probably never asked. No, it just <laughs> no, it's not why at all, because it just it started and there were a boundary. We did things to the south of them, which made sense because that's Deerfield. Um, and so it just things developed around them and that makes sense as to how that happened, but it's left a little peninsula, and now you've got one guy that was on the end says, I'll be next. And yeah. Just to add to that so everybody knows, Snyder cannot divide his land again. He has, he took an acre and a half off of 10.12 or something, so um, he can't divide that again because he's under the it can't be, yeah. there'll be too many people on that property. So the only way he can divide this property again is to get it annexed so he can put smaller lots in there. Like a subdivision. Yes, yeah. just so everybody knows. Is that his intention? I don't know, but that's where he's at. That's all he can do. Well, I can see that being, I mean, I can see that being is uh, to the benefit to one of you consider that. Don't we're putting a subdivision in right behind him, so I mean, right. uh, I mean, uh, no begrudgment there as far as I. Uh, let me get this right. Some of them properties through there have some or partial town utilities already. Yes. Right? So if they have town utilities, if they have water, let's say, they're currently paying one and a half times our normal rate, which is what the ordinance states. So they're paying a higher rate because they're so not. That would be a benefit to them to be annexed, right? Yes, to be annexed, they would pay our regular rate. You know, that probably could be put in that letter and such a in structure in such a way to you know give them some reason it'll be different to why. Trade. It'll be different. Yeah, there's the trade-off. Trade yeah. Off, yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's why I said the trap. I, I agree with George. I, yeah, it's already in our electric, so that has no different no bearing on it. They shouldn't be getting trash from us. That shouldn't. So I'd have to double check and make sure. But they that shouldn't be something that should be offered anytime. I mean, there's no. You have to be a, a resident to be able to get trash. Derek, would you like a motion? Yeah. Full down there? Be the best. 
I'll make a motion to Terry, you gonna draft the letter? You want yep. help draft the letter? Or? No, I'll draft the letter okay. and I'll even let you guys take a look at it. Okay. I'll make a motion that we allow the attorney to draft the letter to the properties on Dewey Street that are not annexed yet, explaining why the annexation pros and cons. I'll second it. Okay, we have a motion and a second to allow the attorney to draft a letter to uh, send to the property owners on Dewey Street as to why we uh, would like to annex uh, properties from West Street all the way to Kenilworth. Any further comment? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Good. The only question I have in that, if they're not hooked up to sewer, there's a time frame they have to get hooked up, correct? Yeah, then they're mandated to be hooked up. Yeah, like, 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 uh, just yeah. throwing that out there. Just okay. so, I don't know if we should advise them of that. Would, I, I would advise them, no, hold nothing back. Advise them of yeah. everything. Right. So, it's transparent. Jimmy, how, how close is their sewer? It's better? all up front. It's all there. It's so all there. All they got to do is tap in then, right? Yep. There might even taps there for them. You guys are right on the ball. Done before me. And they are, but then there's going to be the issues like, well, waiting tap fees. And I, yeah, I know. Here <laughs> We're going to hear everything. Pros and cons. Okay. Well, I think the town has to do the same thing in that situation. Is we have to look at what the pros and the cons are and make them decisions. Just like they do. You know, if it's okay. Any other, any other new business? business? Jordan? Old no business. No. No old business. No old mm -hmm. business? Other old business? Any new business? What you got in hand? Well, I got my hand. No, it's the next thing. 15th of Sunday. Well, that's good. All right. So moving on, IMPA and TOPS tax abatement forms. No, she got that wrong. You don't have TOPS tonight. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I had an ITAM. Okay. So the IMPA tax abatement started in 2015, so this will be year seven. Uh, it'll expire in 2025. Uh, that one, remember, didn't pertain to any jobs, so they are right. in compliance. Uh, the ITAMCO tax abatement, this is the last year for it. So they'll be at the at the bottom level, which is what, 10, 10%? 10. Yeah. Uh, they were supposed to re create three jobs, which obviously they're, from, they're in compliance. You can see they've added more than that because they've combined their factory, which is better for us. Okay. So those are both in compliance. Uh, we'll have we'll have to talk about the tops one, the next one, because I didn't have a chance to work on that one yet. If you want, we can just pass all three of them because Derek would like a chance to look at them also. If you all wait, you we can pass them at the next. You meeting. mean table all three? Table. table. <laughs> Make a motion to table the uh, IMPA and ITAMCO tax abatements till the next meeting, so we can evaluate all of them at the same time. We have one more that's outstanding yet that's due right now. Okay, we do have a motion and a second to table the tax abatement forms for IMPA and TOPS and ITAMCO. Yeah, all three. Okay, all three of them to the next meeting. Any further comment? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. Is TOPS still open though, that building? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm assuming you're locked in for well, three more years. I'm getting to it right now. <laughs> uh, any other new business? No, no, no. Okay. Department head reports. Police. So, 212 West Walnut, right across the road here. Yeah. So, yeah. that guy's been given several tickets with junk vehicles and junk around that. The house. He's also been wrote, written a letter to clean it up in 30 days. To clean it up. He's made a lot of progress, but if you notice, there's still stuff around the. So 30 days is up. So it's up to you guys. What is the next step? I think Derek would write a letter, and we're going to do the same as Mora. Who is it? Right across the street, Kenzie. If you remember the conflict. Right. So I've been dealing with this for about, I don't know, four months. I'll make a motion to have the town attorney, Derek Jones, 
drop a official letter from the town urging the uh, owner of 212 West Walnut Street. He can't. Hmm? He can't. Yeah, I got a comment on that. So do we have to get uh, Mr. Uh, well, that's the, I, I wrote it to the, the, not the owner, I wrote the, so if I remember right, we had the, the owner, we had the conflict, so right. I started all from the beginning and gave it to the grandson who lives there, Storm Kinsey, and that's still a conflict. Okay, well, Mr. Huff, I don't know what else to do. Can Mr. Huff do that? No, no. Uh, nobody in my office can oh, do okay. that. Oh, okay, nobody. conflict, but um, I can see if, I think we've had... Either Jeff Huyen or um, Lindsay. Mm -hmm. I think Lindsay could possibly take care of that for us. Okay. And you know, I, I can help her out with like the forms and all that stuff, right. and say this is what we've done in the past. But I understand. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So now you'll make a motion. I'll make the motion to uh, have an attorney send an official letter from the town to the owner of 212 West Walnut Street for. Code uh, violations after repeated attempts from the police chief to get things corrected. Owner or owners? Oh, oh, go the owner, don't you? It starts with the owner. Okay, you got to start with the owner, and then they're going to point fingers, and I understand how this goes. Second. But, yeah. We do have a motion and a second to have an attorney send a letter to uh, the owner of the property at 212 West Walnut. Uh, for violations that they've been cited and everything else many times. So, uh, so we're out on that. Any further comments? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Matt? Opposed? 212. 212. Yeah. 212. So the next one would have been 711 North Michigan. <laughs> McGalvin, I think I pronounced that right. McAlvin, McAlvin, the nuisance on here north of, by Casey's, across from Casey's parking lot, the trailer. Oh, right, McAlvin. Yeah, McAlvin, that's it. I'm sorry, I said McAlvin. Um, so he's been written a warning, or given him a warning. I wrote him a ticket. I wrote him a letter, also. Um, for, but the letter saying he's got 30 days to comply. Also, I think we've been around, down that route with him before. Um, his 30 days isn't quite up yet, so. I remember you were asking about that. Yeah. So when's his 30 days up? <sighs> um, 29 and a half days ago. No. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking it's, story for it's months. It's been like 14 days, I think. I, I think two weeks, yeah. yeah. Last yeah. time I had Depends some miles. Depends on which letter or which time you talk is, to. Well, you think that you want Chuck, is that property even being used according to the zoning for that property? The way it, I mean, is it intended um, or is there, is there a loophole? That, I mean, I, I guess I don't know. Um, I'll check here just a second. I um, was going to let you know that this morning, Gordon Food Service truck was back up there open. They were unloading food off there to some of the right. vendors. So you said that address is, is 7 Eleven? 7 Eleven. North Michigan. We went through this where we got up when he it's bought it and put it in the Zone B2. Well, last time I, did, I, I, yeah. I got to the letter last time that he got it cleaned up, once, but never went to the attorney. But we're getting close now. Pleasure. Yeah. I've just been hearing a lot around town about that property. You know? It is a lot of it. It is on tree too. Back there. So that's business highway. So. Can they use it as they are? No, I don't believe so. That's just my feeling. It's not like they're have they have a business that comes there. They're using it for a parking lot. <coughs> they're using it for storage. Trash storage. Yeah, it's not technically a business. No, not there's not a business run out of there. So at the end of the two weeks, then we'll just we'll wait until next meeting and have. See where we're at. Everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. You need to have something done. I don't know what or something. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, that's what we'll do on that. Go ahead. So the the, the grass, the coddle thing. I, I do believe I gave a ticket to that guy. Okay. That, like if I remember, he lives in 
Knox or Knox. something. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure. I think I did. I'll double check. But we gave 16 citations and 37 warnings for grass that in that week. So. Oh, well, so I've seen people not take care of the to do. It cost me twenty five dollars for gas every time I go. Oh, twice a week. Isn't that awful? <laughs> 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 it does. It's part of owning property. You take care of it. You guys got the email from Lisa. I'm okay with just having it fixed when we can and using our law enforcement fund for the equipment and loan yeah. Okay, we're not turn that into the insurance. Yeah. There. Which also the other truck, the old truck that we have that we're keeping, is going to be the SROs. The solenoids went out in the transmission, so I think I talked to Sean talk about to that. About it too. We um, that's supposed to be fixed tomorrow, and I, that's going to be like a thousand dollars or so. But I thought we could still use the our fund because as of today, I got an email from the auditor's office. We got four thousand. I think 61% of 6,000, which is like lower 4,000, 4,000 something, for the city and county court costs for our ordinance tickets that we turn into the court, or take, wow. Derek takes the court. As long as you guys are okay with that. Um, we do well with that, guys, just so yeah, we do. you know that uh, it's just an oversight. I think on you, don't put it in the paper and read it. <laughs> like, yeah, nobody else takes advantage of this, and I mean, We've done very well with this yeah. for many, many years. And while I mean, you guys were talking, I had a phone call from Rich Miller. Um, our other charger is a pool of oil underneath it in the garage, so I don't know where that's going. So, kind of a heads up. Dodge it, man. I tell you, Dodge it. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm still waiting for the Ford. I know. You should order a new truck. <laughs> yeah. We'll try. Well, we did. Um, I think that's all I got. You guys have anything for me? Get a quote on the oil leak, see what's wrong with well, it. We'll see what's wrong. I don't know if it's. Yeah. I don't know yet. Do you set the oil change? Uh -huh. Unless they forgot to put the oil. I don't know. Who knows? I think it's happened before. <laughs> it could not here, It could be something simple as a wash around the yeah. bolt and the oil pan. Well, hopefully it's nothing, but coming. usually yeah. things come in three. Have you gotten the oil change lately? <clears throat> that would be the. I don't know. I, I don't know when they've gotten it changed. I can't remember it coming, seeing the bill, but I think sometimes they take the bill right to you, don't they? Make sure it does. But you know when it goes in, right? Sometimes. I've been gone this week, though. Yeah. Hey, Corey, can I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am. Um, going back to like the lawns and the citations and things like mm -hmm. that, um, I know you're probably pretty familiar with a lot of the people who live in this town, obviously, but around about like number like what roundabout number do you think are um, those houses like have elderly people where they might not be able to so, take care of their lawn or single um, parents or you know lower income base like so what I've what always do done think? what I've always done in the past is I don't like writing the citations sure. especially for stuff like that not my thing I don't get my rocks off on that that being said, I kind of that's a problem. Please strike that from the record. <laughs> that being Sorry. said, um, like uh, what I did was with the 16, and this is how I kind of approached it. If I kept dealing with, dealing with the same people over and over again, that's who got the tickets. If I could remember dealing with them. But then I've had other people that come in that I gave the tickets to. There was several that. If they got it mowed right away and it came up to them and they had a legitimate issue or whatever, I, I disregard the ticket. I'm, okay. The whole idea is, I think, to get them to mow it, mm -hmm. not punish them. Mm -hmm. But then again, I get tired of dealing with the same people over and over again. Yeah. There's some, I think there is some, I think there's some people that legitimately have problems. <clears throat> yeah, and I think I brought, a, I brought that up, like, what's his name was having an issue, um, he's gone now. Um, Ever. Yeah. John Kyber. He's having problems, but you know. And How many times over the years have I said, I don't. If you live beside the person, ask to help them. Don't bitch about it. Go help them. Man, yeah, but that's, I can't. I can't. Yeah. yeah, but not everybody hates that. I agree. How many times I've over the years? Which is, yeah, and that's what I mean. You know, if it wasn't I for, if it wasn't for Holly, like, there are many times that I probably would have got a ticket when I lived near him. So, I mean, that was my concern 
was just making sure that the people um, who might need well, the help get it, hopefully. I think if so. you asked some of them that's been on here a little bit longer that I'm probably known for being too lenient with some of them. I, I don't like giving the tickets. I mean, yeah, we don't need the money. Yeah, so, yeah. But it's just if you kind of put That's a little fear into them, it gets over. Some people yeah. just don't want to do it. I know. I was just curious as to you know what that might look like. So. <laughs> Angie, I will say this: uh, you know, as long as I've been here and on the police commission many many years, we always see this as the first part of every spring. There, there always is an influx at first. Then mm -hmm. they kind of then you start having your habitual ones the rest of the summer. And okay. Corey knows who they are. Most of us know who they are. The yeah, same the ones moment. every year that let their grass get this tall and their weeds grow, <laughs> and that's the ones that usually get the tickets yeah, and get done. stuff to. And that's where some I think Angie's the discretion mm -hmm. is nice to have. Yeah. Not using some of the. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. So. Thank you. You're late. <laughs> <laughs> I ran here. <laughs> yeah, side let, let, us, let us finish this, and I'll go back. I'll go back. I'm sorry. That's fine. <laughs> That's, I'm that's sorry. it? I mean, that's all I have, I think. Yeah. Okay, utilities? Yeah, um, looks like the paving is going to start next week. They're giving a schedule about a month, so they're going to be moving on it pretty quick. Um, we had a meeting with NIMSCO on the gas for Deerfield. That went very well, so the process has started on that. I think it's going to take it's going to take a couple months to get the paperwork and stuff, but we've got a schedule. We're going to do it in phases, so they're they're willing to work with us on all that. We don't have a cost of what that's going to, you know, be yet, but we'll find out. Um, the fairground signed the utility agreement that we that we passed, so that's all done. Um, we've had several issues uptown, like you like you know. Uh, one of the issues though we're dealing with is they hit the street light circuit. It was poured inside the curb, so there's really no way to get it out or whatever. So they had to yank it all out. So we we have materials ordered. We got to wait for them to pull the pull the pour the curb. We're gonna put the line back next to that, and then we'll get everything hooked back up. But it's it's it, it could be a few weeks before that. So everything down South Michigan's out, and then East Walnut's out. Um, I guess that's about all I have. Deerfield, we got the water in Kenilworth Road. We're into the park. We got a hydrant in there, so we're waiting for the weather to break where we can get back out there and get the rest finished up. And then we're going to put water in the line, sanitize it, all that, and then we'll start putting taps in. So every, everything's going good out there, moving along. Jamie, down here on uh, East Walnut, it's Aaron Wager's sister. What's going on there? They've got a leak. We've well, it's on them. their side of the meter. It's on their side. We gave them five days so to fix it. So they've got till Friday to get it fixed or we're going to shut it off. Okay. And this valve out here? I called Locates in for that, and we're going to be working on that real, real quick. Okay. I don't know if it'll be yet this week, but next week we'll get on it if, if we don't get to it. That's it, Williams and First. There's a, right. a the valve, valve right. leaking. We messed with it the other day and it dried up for a couple days and now it started leaking again. So we're, we're, we're going to have to dig it up and fix it. I don't know what it's going to take yet, but. I did see a utility marketing vehicle on the street down there by, uh, by where you were talking yeah. about uh, Jane's house. last yeah. night, I think, when I come into town. Yeah, because I went and looked at that other stuff that you talked yeah, okay. about. So um, I, I know they're planning to work on that. So. Yeah. Is that it then for you? That's it for, for, for now. Now they're thinking sewer plant good. Yep. It looks oh, good, but... I read his... Yeah, yeah. I'm just going by what... But yeah. Jimmy hasn't commented for a while, so I thought I'd ask him. Yeah, we had a pump fail out at uh, the pond, I don't know, I think it was last week. We were out there till like after midnight fixing it, but um, we're down to one pump out there. He's looking for parts for it. Is capacitor it's, that hard to find? Yeah, right that's what it sounds like. Wow. Well, they don't have, it's eight weeks. They're eight weeks out for capacitor, and I don't know what pumps are. So he's looking for, he's trying to find one online, but we have, we have a, down on Dewey Street, same pump. So if we run into a problem, we can always pull one of those pumps and put it over there and get us by. So we, we've got a plan for it. Not a huge deal. I just have to say, you know, we're, we're into this over a year now with Ask Barry. 
I look at, I read their reports every time we yeah. do I, mean, I, I still think that's one of the best moves we made as a well, council. I've talked to some Just to take people. the worry off our heads, the pressure off of Jamie. I've talked to some people in the city of South Bend, and they use them too, and they have nothing but good to say about them. They have the same things that we have, and they've straightened them out. So they are, it's probably one of our better moves, yeah. It's, it's run well. Yeah. Okay. Economic Development Report. Director. You got it. I got it. I think I've sent you all the updates since then. Since no update. Uh, the only other thing that came up yesterday, there was a parking lot issue downtown. Uh, I think Jamie got a solution figured out with them. I don't Obviously, know. nine. We've been finding foundations and <laughs> everything else. So there's a wet spot, probably a foundation, a lot of black dirt, the ground kind of moving. So they did. He worked with, well, actually, Chip just happened to be here because of that NIPSCO meeting, so he went down and worked with Jamie, and I think they got a solution. So, just so you're clear, this is all, a lot of this stuff is all on us just because it's. There's going to be some extras, and yeah. anytime you do a project, you're, you're going to find things that were unseen, so. I never imagine how much concrete they found, and. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you see that. I can make. Is there? I, I thought I heard. Is there progress being made on the ACDC building the house at Plum Street? I thought I heard somewhere that they were drawing the plans. Um, for that we haven't moved not. that one yet. We just sold a lot at School Street. Uh, we're kind of holding back on that until we find. We still haven't agreed on a house plan down there. It's got to be the right one. We just haven't, and I'm too busy trying to get that I, stuff. I just asked you the question. Just oh no, update. John's hot to trot on that. I think. Yeah, selling prices are great, but building costs are also... <laughs> uh, I understand. <laughs> so we've been a little hesitant in the time. The motion was yeah. to the regular smart partners. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Can I get one? Mm -hmm. All right. Say something first time. Uh, yeah. uh, this one to let everybody know that we do have a new EMT. Annalise Lindsay. Yeah. From Bourbon, she has her first and second class <laughs> firefighter, so she was out there training last or Monday night with us. Uh, very nice girl. Good disposition. She's glad to be here, so yeah, thank you for that. Me. When the fire territory talked to her, uh, I think she's kind of in for the long haul. She liked uh, the benefit package and everything we have, and, and yeah. I think she's going to be here for a while. Good. I see she's pulled a lot of shifts, so she's uh, definitely working on shifts. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Yeah, she's very nice. I'm glad to hear that. She put up with me on the already Monday, so she passes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she's still here? Yeah. Yeah, and she's still here. Lord have mercy. So with that, I'll make a motion to accept the department head reports. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept department head reports. Any further comment? Not all in favor say aye. 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 Mr. Chris Van Dyne. You're hey, late, buddy, but I'm going to give you time. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I'm sorry I was late. I lost track painting and then sprinted here. Um, I was hoping to do some stuff on the sidewalks uh, this summer. Um, specifically, uh, we've got the brewery down there. We've got the restaurant down there. And we'd like to put some tables outside and actually try and make bring some of the attention outside, bring some of the action outside, make the street look a little bit more lively. Um, so I came last year and kind of just said that I'd be coming this year. Hey, I'm hoping that if there's any local policy that, that we would need to comply with, we can find out what that is. We already talked to the state, and the state requires us to cordon off the area that, that in, for our liquor permit, that if we were going to serve beer outside, that it would be in that area. Um, but basically, I'm just looking for a small space, and I'm more than happy to email you the documents. You asked me to go up, come up with a two-page document. I did, and then I ran here, so sorry. Um, but I'm more than happy to email it to the board so that we could discuss it at the next meeting, or if you guys have any rules about what percentage of the sidewalk you'd be comfortable with people taking, or if you even want, the, and this isn't just for us, if you want to do a policy so that other restaurants <coughs> as well here downtown could potentially have outdoor seating, I think when you guys put in an amphitheater and like, you've got music out there in your new park, like 
we're all going to want to do it. So, and I think especially on days like Saturday during the day and Sunday, uh, uh, looks a little slow. Saturday and Friday night, you know, you can't find a parking spot downtown, but I think having people out there, it'll make the town look a little more full and busy. Are you talking about wanting to have something out there all the time? No, it'd be something we break just it down like every a, night. Like I mean, a certain... Yeah, it's just something where we put out little metal railings and maybe we take up whatever you guys decide, 30% of the width of the sidewalk or, or whatever the case may be. We put four two-person tables out there right up against my building and then, and then that would be it. Um, if for some reason you don't want to do that, I'd also like to put out three kind of rocking chairs and just leave them there in front of my building if that's something you'd be interested in but that's a completely different issue if <laughs> i just want to try and i want to try and make it look like it's a walkable well, space i'm on really. board with you until you mentioned the rocking chair <laughs> <laughs> well it's really it's just kind about of the whole, that. it's kind of the whole principle of having the thing across the street for people to kind of go over there to relax yeah and, and that's how wide are the sidewalks do you know i don't Look to me like they're about eight foot. Does that sound right? Uh, I don't think one. No, yeah. There, so there's there's two big squares right. that are each right. six right. foot in width, and then there's the the brick trim, and then there's another about a foot. So 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 you're talking about maybe twelve fourteen foot, foot something like that. Twelve, 12 foot, foot to the brick. brick, yeah. Twelve foot brick to building, yeah. And what he was he showed me what he's wanting to do is divide that so that the uh, outside of it people could still walk. Yeah. 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 So on a 14 foot sidewalk, you'd still have eight foot that we're not even messing with over here. You know, we're not uh, uh, blocking any you know passageway through the. Yeah, the stairway. Actually, done that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. that's exactly what we're talking about right I've there. I've seen it in different places. Yeah. I, I think it's a cool idea. My, my um, next que my next question, or I guess my next concern, or it's not really a concern. It's just a question I have really wanted is. Is there anything in our land use book that prohibits that or anything? I'm not going to say without looking. Yeah, that's that's my next question. Is to, I think that yes, the council would have a say. But I think that also we need to refer to our land use book for that area to make sure that that's all the compliance as well. That's perfectly fine. Yeah, I'm just I'm really just looking to start a process. Last year I came for one meeting and talked to George at the end of a meeting about it, and we just kind of spitballed some ideas. This year I'm saying. Hey, we'd like to start this sometime, whether it's you know next week or whether it's in July. You know, I, I'm looking to try and come up with a formula or a process with somebody so that we can get this. Might be such a thing as you may have to go in front of the local zoning no, that I mean, controls we've already, that book. We've already done this once. The pizza place does this. Do they? You guys okay to? Okay. All we had to do. They had to keep it up. up next to the building. building. Like okay. he's talking. Or yeah. So, sidewalks look like they're 16 foot. Yeah. That's, I just measured them, and, and you're right. Yeah. Awesome. There's plenty of room there. No, I, I'm not questioning. I just want to make sure that we follow all the rules because sure enough, if we don't, down the road yeah. somewhere, it'll come back to haunt us. Yeah. Yeah. At that time, just, she said we looked and there wasn't anything. We didn't have an ordinance against that. So. We seem to have a habit about having things come back to bite us. So when did, when did we do this? The pizza place. They remember they had the little patio tables with the umbrellas outside. They came okay. in front of us and asked us if they could, if they kept them up against the building and not too wide, you know what I mean, then that's, we okayed that. We were well, like, It was all yes. checked into at that time. Yeah. As oh, as we know that. Great more traffic down. Yeah. Down. It, I, but yeah. I think it's a great idea. They've they updated their books since then, too. That's what I want. I mean, has there well, a new rule? How about, let we'll me see. kind of revisit this. Yeah. There, yeah. yeah the land use development code easy. and existing ordinances. Yeah. And Report back at the next meeting. I think that that would be very. Yes, my just make sure that the uh, yeah. people yeah. who have disabilities can function and walk around. Sixteen. Get around. Sixteen times the next meeting. No. First, 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 oh, we have, we have one in the first month. Yeah. Okay. That's fair enough on that. Oh no, absolutely. And uh, who do you want me to email that two pager to? The Eric. Yeah. Okay. Would you do that? Yep. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'll come get my free meal. No. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, I you see. Just said that in public. <laughs> 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 <A> joke. <laughs> okay. Favorite joke. Okay. It's no worse than what he said. <laughs> <laughs> oh.
do shoot for his wife's off. Can I get those two Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. The claims are $195,267.93. I know it. You think she learned how to put them right? That's why you have that thing that says view and You think this is the first time you looked at it? No, I looked at it four o'clock. I spent my lunch going over to the town doctor because I had no better time. Alright, it's up to you guys. Make a motion to accept the claims May 3rd through May 16th, 2022. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept the claims from May 3rd to May 16th, 2022. Any further comment on it? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion to adjourn. Second. We have a motion and a second to adjourn. You missed one meeting.